What's going on, everybody? Hope you're having an epic week. I just read some life-changing humanity, excuse me, humanity-changing news that's going to change everything, and it comes at a good time because I'm getting attacked now for making a post about climate change, uh, and this is a great segue. I just so happened to stumble in on it reason I'm rambling now, I'm stalling for about five seconds until people get into the live stream. And then I'm going to explain what happened because this is a revolutionary finding. So let me just wait about five more seconds for people to get in. It's been a little slower today as far as the live stream. Joe, what's going on, brother? How are you doing? All right, people are starting to get in. So I'm going to explain what happened. They found human fossils in Morocco that are 100,000 years older than any human fossil we found before. So before these fossils, our understanding of humanity was that it was 200,000 years old, the origin of Homo sapiens. And now with this fossil, they now realize that Homo sapiens were around 300,000 years ago. So this changes our entire perception on where humanity started. So. Before uh, the last few days, the scientific community said Homo sapiens are for sure 200,000 years old. That's the oldest fossil we found. We know that for sure. And today, now with the new fossil, they're saying, wait a second. This fossil changes our whole understanding of science. This puts us back 100,000 years. That's not one year. That's not 10 years. That's not 100 years. That's a hundred thousand years in the past. And I want to segue into something that I just posted that a lot of people are giving me trouble for. I posted something about climate change and talking about how that has been used politically. This is what science is. Okay, when I was younger, they told me that science was, there's no planets like Earth. There's no possible planet in existence that can harbor life. That's what we were told my whole life. It's science. Don't talk about it. Don't debate it. There's no other planets like Earth. Now, our understanding is there's billions upon billions upon billions of planets. Billions. Not one, not two, not ten, not a hundred. Billions of planets that have life, that could possibly sustain life. We don't know for sure, but they have the right elements. And even in that thinking, they're looking for life as we know it. Why would all life need water and act the same as me? The science makes absolutely no sense, but you know, science scientists would say, don't say that anomaly, you know, you're too smart. Don't, don't tell us what to look for. We're looking for humans who drink water and all, all life in the universe has to drink water and you know, it needs the same things that we need to sustain life. No, it doesn't, that's stupid. But, you know, God forbid you call the scientific community stupid. Everybody's going to throw up their arms. And the same thing with, sci with climate change. You have to understand science and discoveries and data. It's an ongoing process. And it's not an ongoing process like sometimes it changes. Oh, it changed like a little bit. Like, well, we kind of knew. This is the entire origin of humanity. Just changed 100,000 years overnight. Two nights ago, it was Homo sapiens are 200,000 years old. And now, humans are 300,000 years old. I'm going to make a bold statement and say, we don't know what the F we're talking about with virtually anything. All we can do is guesstimate. We haven't even explored the ocean. 95% of the ocean is unexplored. And the ocean takes up 67 to 73% of the entire world. If you do the math, most of the world is unexplored because we don't even know what's going on in our own oceans. The planets are going from no planets can sustain life to, oh my God, you know what? Never mind. It's not no planets. It's uh, tens of billions of planets have life. So with the climate change video I just posted, I just, and if I'm going to put this on YouTube too. So if you're on YouTube, just Google the founder of of the Weather Channel talking on CNN because the founder of the Weather Channel, who's a scientist, doesn't believe in climate change. But our politicians and our media sources have brainwashed people to think, believe what we tell you. Don't dare question anything we tell you. Climate change is real. 
everything's real, we tell you. And if you dare debate it, if you do science or, you know, realize that our data has been manipulated and used for a political agenda, you're crazy. Make sure you yell at everybody and call them mean names and say, you're such a dummy. You're so dumb that you question science. That's literally what science is, is questioning. Like I just said, we just found a fossil in Morocco. And now our understanding of all of humanity, the origins of humanity, Homo sapiens, went from 200,000 years in the past to 300,000 years in the past in a day. And you really believe that we know everything there is to know about how climate has changed over the course of humanity? We know nothing. We don't know anything. Indoctrination, fake scientists, shill nigh the Democratic Party guy and kneel the I'm getting paid by Hillary Clinton Tyson go on TV and they convince people don't do science you know everything we say is true and if any of your friends question me don't don't give them proof just call them dummies and call them losers I, I, I shared a, quote, a, a clip from Neil deGrasse Tyson he was they were like so how do we debunk people when they, they say the earth is flat and this should be an easy question for a scientist and he says Oh no 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 no! We don't we don't debunk people. We just tell them they're stupid, and if they disagree with us, then you know we just need to indoctrinate them and teach them in a way that they can't possibly think that way. That's what fake scientists are doing now. So, I really urge any environmentalist, any scientist, any people who are very passionate about science and education and all of these things, which you should be. I'm an environmentalist myself. Save the bees, clean the water, clean the air. No plastic, let's go hemp, let's go clean energy, let's save the coral reefs, but that doesn't make climate change real just because they shove it down your throat and say it's real. I'm not saying it's not real. The climate's always changing. I mean, we don't even know what's going on in the universe. When I was young, there's no, there's no planets like Earth. And now there's billions of planets like Earth and some very well, very uh, industry leading scientists are saying that the entire universe is a com possibly a computer simulation. You have Elon Musk creating companies called Neuralink, which are companies that plant implant computer chips into people's brains. This is real life. Google Neuralink. Bill Gates has a patent manipulating hurricanes. He, ma he manipulates weather and owns a patent for it. And people are so indoctrinated and dumb and hateful that they're like, don't you dare question science to, to climate change. There's no possible way. It's a closed case. It's a closed case. Well, how is that a closed case when our origin of humanity literally just changed overnight? It just went from 200,000 years to 300,000 years in 48 hours, our understanding of that. And you goofballs really think that it's a closed case? Nothing's a closed case. I mean... Unless you have facts, evidence, and when it comes to climate change, they paid scientists to think their way. They said, here's the money. We'll give you the money if you produce the data we want you to produce. Go find how man is changing the climate. That was their goal. They don't want to bring on scientists that disagree because that's real science. They don't want real science. They don't want you to be saved. They don't want the environment to be saved. They simply just want to perpetuate the same narrative because that's what they don't want. They don't want science. They don't want people free thinking. They don't want real education. They don't want people's lives to be bettered and saved. They want to control people. So once again, to sum this up, this is real news. This is not a troll. This is very real news. A, a human fossil was found in Morocco and it's dating our origin of humanity we said 48 hours ago I thought was oh yeah humanity's 200,000 years old and I know that for sure we can't even get real accurate honest news today we don't even know what's going on in the world today in America you have half the country who thinks one thing's going on half the country who thinks one's going on and a small portion of the country who thinks you're both lunatics we don't even know the truth about what's going on today in our own world and you dummies think that we know the origin of humanity? Oh yeah, for sure, it's gotta be 200,000 years old. Oh wait, 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 no, it's 300,000 years old. Wait, 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 no, it's 400,000 years old. Hold on, no, no, 
There's no planets like Earth. Oh, wait, 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 there's billions of planets like Earth. There's trillions of planets like Earth. We don't know anything. We've been lied to for so long and controlled for so long. And now the truth's coming out. And I mean, the Paris Climate Agreement is getting some discussion there. People are like, we're all going to die. The climate's changing because Bill Nye and Neil deGrasse told me and Barack Obama told me. And there's no way that it can't be true. I can't even think about it. I can't even consider it. I don't want to hear anyone. Oh, my God. The weather of the... The, the, the founder of the Weather Channel, oh my god, don't, I don't want to hear it. Ah, no, no, no science, no facts, no evidence, please, no, I want to be, I want to be lied to, I want to be controlled. That's not science. Science is learning. Science is getting new information. And the science and the origin of humanity, what's going on in our world, what went on in the past, and what's going to happen in the future... I guarantee you it's going to change a hundred thousand times in the next 20 years because nobody knows what the F they're talking about. Anybody that knows what they're talking about gets immediately silenced. Shut up. Shut up. No, 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 no. Don't tell people the truth. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. And anybody who doesn't know what they're talking about gets put on a platform here. Lie for us. Lie for us. Lie for us until the real scientists get the real information. And then we have to put out the article, but then we'll just... Shift people in the next direction. Here, oh yeah, yeah. humanity is 100,000 years older than we thought it was. But yeah, 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 climate change is real for sure. For sure, yeah, it's got to be. There's no way. Oh yeah, if you know that climate change is real, then you must really have explored the ocean, right? Because, you know, uh, the earth is mostly water. So you must, you must really know a lot about the oceans if you know everything about the earth, right? Well, no, nah, not exactly. Because if you look on the NASA website and you Google how much of the ocean's unexplored, Hmm, oh, 95% of it's unexplored. We've only explored 5% of the ocean, so, well, we don't really know what's going on there. We don't know what's going on on Earth, but for sure, yeah, yeah, there's there's no way. I mean, Bill and I, I mean, your gender isn't real, you're not a man, you're not a woman, and climate change is real, and if anybody questions it or anybody even considers otherwise, they're crazy, lunatic, right-wing conspiracy theorists. You can't make this stuff up. Someone said, go to sleep. You go to sleep, Rommel. This is going to make no sense when I post it on YouTube. People are going to be like, who's Rommel? You go to sleep. I'm awake all the time. Even when I sleep, I'm awake. I dream. DMT gets released and I go to another universe to conduct my other life in that other universe. But... Don't, 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 don't say that. Don't say that, Anomaly. That's too, that's too trippy. You're going to scare the people away that don't know what science is. Don't know what real environmentalism is. I could just sit here and not say nothing for five minutes if I wanted. Rama, I could sleep on camera. I did that last, yesterday. It's, a, it's kind of obnoxious, though. I know people on YouTube are going to be like, what the F is this guy doing? Why is he talking so much? But we'll see how many up likes and down likes I get. So just to wrap everything up, breaking news, analysis of Morocco fossils puts emergence of Homo sapiens back 100,000 years. That's right. 48 hours ago, humanity was 200,000 years old. Today, humanity's 300,000 years old. Next week or next year, two years from now, it's going to be 400 or 500,000 years old because we don't know anything. We haven't even explored the ocean. We haven't explored deep in the, the, the ground, yet we pretend we parade around and act like we know everything. Oh, it's for sure. It's a closed case. There's no way. There's, this, is sci this is science. Science, science isn't questioning. Science isn't studying. Science is the logic of facts. Science is believing what we tell you or else you're a big dummy, dumb, dumb, dummy. Bernie Sanders told me, Neil, Degr Neil, Neil deGrasse Tyson told me, and Bill Spy, the Democratic Party shield guy, told me so. So I can't, I can't possibly think outside that box. I mean, that's what's going on, folks. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you, real scientists and real environmentalists, for understanding that science is an ongoing process in our understanding of the oceans, our understanding of the climate, our understandings of the earth, our understandings of the universe, our understandings of humanity, 
change every single day because as we get new technology and we explore more, we realize time and time again, nobody knows what they're talking about and we've been led by liars for a long, long time. That's real talk. Have a good night.